this is a pretty recent issue of Shape, and in, in every Shape magazine they have this thing, well here it's called Target Training. And I actually was featured a couple times in these Target Training um, articles a, a few years ago. I don't remember what I did, but I remember I was featured in them. And this is about um, your chest. They call it toning your bust line. So the first one's called a, well, they got this one called the kneeling cable press. Cool idea, except they screw it up. Here's why. They got the girl kneeling on like a foam roller, and then they're going to, she's going to press but see, because the resistance is coming from straight behind me, it doesn't work my chest. Because our chests bring our arms towards midline. It's called adduction. So whether they're out here and come towards midline, or here towards midline, or here, or here, or here, anyway, the chest's job is to bring this arm towards the middle. So that means the resistance needs to be pulling our arms out. Okay, they screw this up in the Total Gym uh, infomercial too. So look, this is pulling me backwards. So as you can see, as I'm doing this, it's my shoulders that are working because this is pulling me back, right? So even if I get it here and I abduct, right, it's pulling me down. Look, so that's internal rotation. So it's my rotator cuff that has to stabilize that. And it's my shoulder, my anterior delt, that has to push. Now, if I turned and I went like this, right? Well, now this cable is trying to pull me into abduction or outwards. This would be a great chest exercise, but that's not what they show. They show this, okay? It's goofy. So what they should have done was raise this up. Okay, now when I kneel down, you can see now the cables are at my bus line, my chest height, and it's trying to pull me out. So now I've got to, you know, I've got to, I'm losing the words, contract my chest to, to bring these in. Now this is a good chest exercise, but for some reason they didn't get that. I don't know why. Then the, uh, and, and, and the sad thing is, you know, people, you know, I know about this stuff, and maybe you know about this stuff, but the average person doesn't know it. They're going to do this, and they think that works their chest. It's a waste of time for their chest, not a waste of time for the shoulders or the triceps. Now, the other thing they had was rolling ball push-up. So it's a medicine ball, okay? And I remember seeing this in, like, Rocky Four. Rocky Five. I mean, it looks cool, but there's no reason to do it unless you're like a, you know, you're a wrestler or you need to get back way far like that. So let me show you why. Remember before I was telling you about the 90 degree rule and why that's important, why we don't go below 90 with load. We can go below 90 without load. It's no problem. Or as long as we don't do this a thousand times today. Okay, so the same thing happens with your elbow. Your tricep comes from up here and attaches to the olecranon. So as your hand bends, or as your elbow bends, this muscle that comes down across here starts getting stretched, and there's a bursa under that olecranon. Right? Bursa is like a, like a small sandwich bag, you know, Ziploc bag with little WD-40 in it that provides a, uh, like a, like a pad so that things can slide over it, okay? So as the further we go down into flexion like this, the more this tricep is stretched and it presses into here and there's a burst under there. So you don't want to keep doing that, all right? Plus, look, 
the angle when you go down, when this muscle goes down, like that, and, and, the, and, and imagine a rubber band going from here all the way around down here. When it pulls, it's trying to pull this bone apart. It's trying to pull this that way, okay? But you're trying to get this to go this way, that way. So the angle of pull is weak. The same thing in the chest. As I go into a push-up like this, as my arm gets to be level with my body, my chest is trying to pull my arm kind of into the socket, right? If my arm goes back further, my chest gets stretched. There's less amount of cross-bridging fibers that cross-bridge, so it's not as strong. And now it's trying to pull this arm like still into the socket, but my, I'm trying to get my arm to go that way, the direction that my hand is pointing. But I don't have a muscle that's attached here pulling me that way, so I'm physically or physio and physio mechanically and physiologically weak way back here like that, okay? So if you're doing this just to train your chest, there's no reason to go like that. So when you add a medicine ball to that and you go down to a push-up, this goes to a right angle, but look at this one, the left one. Look how far that is. Look at how much, look at how acute that angle is, how deep that angle is. So it puts a lot more stress on the elbow and the shoulder, both, right? And, you know, you see people doing it, and they do it, and then they roll it back and forth, okay? And there's, it looks cool, but it really puts a lot of stress on the joints. And, and, and eventually, physics always wins. Your joints wear out, okay? So now don't get me wrong. All these magazines, not everything they print is wrong, but they're, they should have some responsibility for some professional or somebody to look at and correct that. And the sad part is it, or, or, or uh, the frustrating part to me is that in some of these magazines, it is a fitness professional showing, showing this or, sh or, or showing, the, you know, showing these extreme things because, uh, you know, you can get fit like that. It does challenge your tricep. It just challenge your shoulder. But over a period of time, it's, you're going you're gonna to lose, right? So uh, I hope this helps you a little bit. Always when you see a magazine or you see photos, look at it from a physiological and a biomechanical uh, kind of a hat on before you ask someone else to do it. Try it yourself, okay? And I'll keep coming at you and I'll keep showing you the stuff that I find, okay? All right, take it easy. And if you want more information, Go to nccpt.com or johnplatero.com. Thanks.